Hey guys, it's Mike here. Um, this is a video that I never thought we would be a part of, but uh, we'll do the best I can. Um, as you may know, Villains and Vice is really, it's Beth's channel, you know, this is Beth's baby. And um, if you've been following her for any amount of time, you'll know that usually she puts out two, three, sometimes four videos a week. Um, but you know, that all sort of ceased about four weeks ago, and she's sort of been silent since, and I wanted to kind of come on here and sort of explain what's been going on. Um, I guess in the early morning hours of, uh, of New Year's Day, <laughs> um, Beth unexpectedly and suddenly lost her brother, Bobby. Um, Beth and Bobby were extraordinarily close. Um, I think that's probably true for a lot of brothers and sisters, admittedly, but um, as a lot of brothers and sisters grow up, they sort of move out of the house and uh, kind of go their separate ways, and sometimes you're lucky if you're even in the same state or town. Um, but in, in their case, they were roommates for a good amount of, um, of their adult life. Uh, Beth and I got married five years ago, and um, when, we, when we did, Bobby, uh, we, we had a bar apartment, and Bobby moved into the apartment and um, lived there. And then when we when we bought this house, uh, Bobby came with us, <laughs> and uh, you know he had his own, just literally above where I'm sitting right now, um, had his own apartment within the house too. Um, so with that being said, this has been you know very hard on Beth. Um, Another result of, of Bobby being here and living in this home um, is the fact that they're just constant reminders of him. Um, and I think that's also made it really challenging for Beth. Uh, she'll open up the refrigerator and see, <laughs> you know, food or bacon that they were going to prepare for, uh, for like, New Year's Day. Um, and, uh, you know, it'll... The memories are always there. And um, so... So that's, that's kind of why you really haven't seen anything from, from her in quite some time, because um, even now, almost four weeks into this, um, the emotions are still really raw, and uh, it's, it's just, it's hard. Um, Bobby wasn't in a lot of the videos uh, that she put out, and um, <laughs> kind of the reason for that is he was sort of an unsung hero of villains and vice. Um, as you may know, Beth breeds ponies in Virginia. Uh, that's where her farm is. And um, you'll also notice that Beth puts out a video from the Orlando theme parks <laughs> probably once once a week or so. And Bobby was really the unsung hero that allowed that to happen because Bobby would stay behind um, and take care of the ponies while she was away. Um, it, uh, you know, <laughs> his unseen contribution to the channel that I mean, he was irreplaceable. Um, and so that's that's another reason he'll he'll certainly be missed. Um, oh. People have kind of been reaching out to her and saying, you know, is there is there anything I could do? Um, and I've tried to really think about that um, because <laughs> as her husband, Beth's happiness and my happiness are pretty much in direct correlation. Um, and so if there's anything I can do to try to help her in any way, that's, that's what <laughs> I'm going to do. Um, and so I, I can think of three things. Um, one, first and foremost, Thoughts and prayers. You know, I I might be a little old-fashioned in that way, but uh, I I'm still kind of a believer in those things. And so, um, if you just want to take a, a moment out of your day to just kind of remember her, that um, and remember Bobby, if you happen to have known him, um, that would be that would be tremendous. Um, if you're looking to to maybe do something else, um, two things come to mind really. Bobby Bobby was a big animal lover. Um, we, the family, would actually take a trip to Maine every summer, still do, 
and um, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby was loaded up Dixie, who's the, the family golden retriever, and load her up in his pickup truck, and they would drive to Maine because Bobby wouldn't leave her behind. And that's another reason Bobby wasn't in Florida very much for, for a lot of these videos. It was the ponies, but also the fact that Bobby would not go anywhere if, uh, if Dixie couldn't. So um, if the alternative was boarding her or him staying behind and missing out, Bobby would 100% of the time miss out. Um, he, would not, he would not leave, leave the dog. So with that said, um, if you or your family have sort of been on the fence about maybe going to your local shelter and, and bringing a, a dog or cat home, if now might be the time to pull the trigger, um, you know, that would, that would be a great way to sort of remember Bobby is, you know, if you've got room for your, another pet in your household, go, uh, go to your shelter and, and see what, see what you can do. If that's not an option, another way to sort of help out with the animals is, you know, do a donation. It doesn't have to be cash. You can drop off some dog food, cat food, cat litter, toys, um, just a little something kind of, you know, help the people at the shelter out in terms of taking care of these guys until someone else can, can come and take them home. Um, and lastly, <laughs> Bobby, if, when I grew up as a kid, one of the treats I got to have on Thursday night was I got to watch Cheers with my dad. And, uh, if, if you remember Cheers, there was, um, you know, it's about a bar, obviously, but there was a character, Norm, and, uh, Norm was a regular. Norm had his own seat. Uh, everybody knew Norm by name. And Bobby was very much like that with his own little watering hole here in town. Um, <laughs> Bobby was a, a big purveyor, a purveyor, but uh, he was Buffalo Wild Wings' biggest customer, <laughs> I will have to say. Um, he was probably at that place at least, gosh, I don't know, three, four, or five times a week. And he, um, just like Norm, everybody knew Bobby by name, and Bobby even had his own drink. You know, <laughs> I was I was telling uh, Beth's parents the other day that Bobby was an advertiser's worst nightmare because Bobby didn't care what was the in thing or what he people thought he should do or thought he should drink or what was trendy. Bobby knew exactly what he liked, and he was such a creature of habit that he had that thing and only that thing all the time. And so, uh, so Bobby's <laughs> vice, if you will, um, very simple. It was Jack Daniels and Dr. Pepper. And, uh, they actually, at B-dubs, they call it a Boston Bob, or at least, you know, the local one here, um, they called it that while he was there, and they certainly call it now that he's, he's gone. So, if you, um, next time you're out at a restaurant, if you would, uh, you know, like to order a Boston Bob, again, it's... Half Jack Daniels, well, I guess you can make up whatever combination you want, but it's basically Jack Daniels and Dr. Pepper with a couple limes in it. And, um, you know, order it at your, next time you're out, make it in your kitchen. Um, if you happen to have some Jack Daniels and Dr. Pepper laying around. Um, but if you, if you happen to do any of these things, whether it be the, the animal shelter or, or creating your own little Boston Bob, tag Tag Beth in this. Um, you know, you can tag her at her personal Facebook or Instagram or um, the Villains and Vice um, social media as well. But you know, I I think I think she would just love to see to open up her own Facebook and Instagram and see just nothing. <laughs> just see her page flooded with families getting new animals um, at their shelter or just Boston Bobs and just I think that'd be a great way to. Um, to show her that you're thinking about her and that you care about her. Um, and also, please share this video. It's, nobody wants to see this. <laughs> Grizzly Adams and the beard and my work huggle. Um, but I, you know, I would love it to be not just a few people, but I would love to see as many, even people she hasn't met yet, strangers, um, people who don't even follow this channel, or even this type of channel. Um, I would just love to see as, as many as possible uh, new animals get homes new pets, and uh, Boston Bob's just all over the place. I, I think that would really make her smile. So, so yeah, that's kind of what's been going on the last four weeks or so. Um, she's still, the days are, are getting a little bit better. She still struggles. Um, 
there's not a day that goes by that she doesn't get sad, at least a couple of times, but um, she's, she's starting to kind of cling more to the happy memories. And um, I, I, I think, I think that's one way that, that you can't help is kind of remind her some of the happy times and some of the good things that, that Bobby did and um, remembrances of him. I mean, um, he was, he was a remarkable guy and fiercely, fiercely loved by, uh, by his close friends. And, um, you know, he's, he's missed, definitely missed. But while we, we may be in sort of a valley right now, um, better days are ahead. And, uh, I know she'll, she'll be back at some point with the channel and kind of get back into the, the swing of her old groove. But, um, I, I don't know exactly when that will be, but I just want to kind of step aside and take a few minutes to kind of update everybody on what's been going on and why she's been absent for some time. Um, and that's, that's kind of where we're at. So until that day comes, um, we'll, <laughs> we'll see you then.